Hey everyone, John Resso with Wells Darby. We're here on a job site today with Mike Tichara from Fujitsu and Bob from Alpine Air. We're gonna go through a Fujitsu J-Series install. We're gonna to try to show you each phase of a J-Series install. Bob's the installer, we'll let him explain the project. Hey everyone, we have um, in this home, uh, I believe six indoor units, vertical air handlers they are, and one mid-static air handler. Um, they're connected to a total of two outdoor J-Series units. Um, those units will provide heating and cooling for the entire home. The reason why we chose to, uh, to go with the J-Series systems is to reduce the amount of outdoor units that we have. Um, in this home we have two outdoor units, uh, which is much more pleasant than having multiple outdoor units outside. All right, all inside. Good, good. All right, guys, let's go upstairs. Let me show you the air Hey, guys, how are we making out in here? Pretty good. We're finishing installing the ductwork. And then after that, we're going to work on the line set. Connecting the unit. Great. And the drains are going to get tied in. Yes, sir. Everything's looking good in here. Okay, Bob, so we made our way to the upstairs mechanical room. Uh, we were out earlier downstairs talking about this being a J-Series application. And you're an elite contractor with the Halcyon product line with Fujitsu. Why J and what are the differences? Sure, the major difference between a J-Series and a Halcyon uh, system is really just this pink wire. This is our communication wire that we run to each controller on the wall and between each air handler. Um, the only other difference between a J-Series system and a Halcyon unit is the line set, the way we run the line set. There's only one line set from the outdoor unit into the indoor unit, and um, then we have separation tubes, and, that's, and that line set splits, and uh, a, a separate line goes to each, each indoor unit. So it's overall a lot less copper to run, um, making the installation actually quicker. Great, how did your guys adapt to it? I mean, this job looks great so far, but how did they, did they accept it right away? Was it an easy transition? Very easy, they, uh, everything's exactly the same. There's not a whole lot of difference besides those little few things. Great. So here we are in another part of the home. We showed you the air handler, which will soon be a multi-position air handler. In this room, Bob, you chose to use a ceiling cassette. What's the reasoning behind that? Well, the, uh, the customer wanted uh, zoning options and they wanted to really isolate each, each, each space in these different zones. And we were very limited on ductwork uh, options in here. So that's the main reason we chose to go with the ceiling cassette here in this room. Okay, Bob, so here we are. We walked outside. This is where one of the outdoor units is going to set. You got a 5 8 and a 3 8 line going into the house. You tie that into either a manifold or a separation tube. So, how many zones did we end up with here? We have 10 total zones inside on um, three outdoor units. Three outdoor units. If this was a Halcyon job, you know, not to knock a Halcyon product, it's a great product, but how many outdoor units would you have for this house? Potentially eight, between eight to 10 outdoor units. So this really simplified your install. Certainly. Right. I'm here with Noel from Fujitsu and Tom from Alpine Air. We're doing a startup on a Fujitsu J-Series system. Hi. I'm the Regional Support Specialist for Fujitsu General. And what we have here is a five ton J-Series paired with 212 indoor units and 136. And we're gonna run this through an indoor unit check, which is performed by an F3-12. As you see on our setting, it shows us we have three indoor units and when we press select, also shows us that we have 100% capacity. Let's go ahead and press enter. And we're passed. Welcome back. As you see, we have two five-ton J-Series in operation. Super quiet. 
hooked up to our service tool that's on our laptop. You can see our operation of our units running, indoor and outdoor, the complete refrigeration diagram, which shows you compressor, fan operation, EEV pulses, and thermistor values. Hey everyone, John Resto with Wells Darby. Uh, we're wrapping up the job with Alpine Air. We appreciate everybody watching the video. Here we are today, we're at Fujitsu uh, General in Pine Brook, New Jersey. We're in their VRF training room. They're starting to build out a training room here. So if you have an opportunity for a J-Series type installation, please reach out to us at Wells Darby. Uh, you can go to wellsdarby.com. If you're looking for training information, you can go to hvacinsiders.com. That's where we keep a lot of our training materials for a majority of our manufacturers. So we really appreciate you spending the time with us and look forward to talking to you in the future. Thank you very much.